Hello lovelies, this is the braided chain stitch. It's a really good chunky stitch this one. If you need help keeping in a straight line, then by all means use a heat erasable fabric pen like the one I've used here. We're going to bring our needle up through the fabric and we're going to make a very small stitch. Go back down through the fabric and we're going to come up through the fabric just above this, about a stitch length away. Bring your needle all the way through and we're going to slide it under that very first stitch. So slide it under there. This is our first chain stitch. This is the base for the whole stitch. So there's our chain stitch. We're going to bring our needle back up through the fabric again above this one. But this time we're going to take the needle and slide it again under the very first stitch. Don't pull it all the way through. We need to leave like a loop just above it, just like this look. And then we're going to take our needle back down through our fabric at the top here. Again, don't pull it all the way through. We need it to make like a circle around our first chain stitch. Okay, we're going to bring our needle up through the fabric on the line above those last two stitches. Take your needle and we're going over the top loop, under the two stitches in the middle and over the loop at the bottom. So over, under, over. Pull this through. What you need to do then is to get hold of the thread where it last came up through the fabric and pull that chain stitch taut. Bring your needle through, but again, you're going to need to have those two loops. So you're making that circle around your previous chain stitch. So take your needle through and bring your needle up through the fabric. So once again, we're going to take that needle and we're going to go over the top loop under the chain stitch over the bottom loop we're going to pull the thread so that it tightens the chain stitch this one pull it taut and then take our needle back down through our fabric remember leave the two loops you're always leaving those two loops to work with when you come up for your next stitch. One really helpful tip is that you can leave your needle in place over the top loop, under the chain stitches, over the bottom loop as you pull the thread taut. That might be a more helpful way to do it. And I'll show you how to do that at the end of this row of stitches. Now I'm going to speed this next bit up because it's always boring watching me do the whole line of the stitches. Just remember, always over the top, under the chain, over the bottom. And we're going to work our way all the way to the end and then I'm going to pause it and slow it down. So you're leaving this circle made of these two loops. Bring your needle through from the fabric and we're going to very slowly here, go over the top, under the middle, over the bottom. Now you can leave your needle in place while you pull the thread. It really helps. And to finish this off, we're going to do this just like we would a normal chain stitch. So we're coming up through the fabric. Um, I think I'm doing one more of these actually. So look, keep your needle in place, pull the thread taut and you can bring the needle through and it's nice and neat. And one more through. Remember, you need to leave that circle and then we're going to come up through the fabric here, over, under, over. Leave the needle in place. Like I said, it really helps. And then to finish this stitch off, we are just going to go down through at the top, just there. So that's your braided chain stitch. Happy stitching.